Hello, I'm Professor Pan, and today I will be doing a bioinformatics analysis in the R programming language to characterize how cell types are organized in a breast cancer tissue section uh, profiled using the 10x uh, Visium spatial transcriptomics technology using the reference free deconvolution tool SDD Convolve. Given the tissue, we might be interested in how the cell types are organized. We can distinguish between cell types based on what genes they express. As we've seen in our other videos, spatially resolved transcriptomics provides us with the means to characterize how genes are expressed within tissues with high spatial resolution. 10x Physium is one of these spatially resolved transcriptomics technologies that allow us to perform full transcriptome profiling at these 55 micron spots uh, tiled throughout the tissue. Keeping in mind that a cell may be only 10 or so microns, each of these 55 micron spots may therefore comprise multiple cells, and as a result, the genes that we observe at each of these spots are also going to be a reflection of all of these cells, which of course may represent many different cell types. Therefore, as we've seen in some of our other videos, deconvolution analysis becomes a helpful tool for us to recover these cell type specific spatial patterns, as well as cell type specific gene expression profiles. So we'll be going from this to this. Okay, so why don't I share my screen and
Okay, so we've managed to go from this, a gene expression counts matrix, where each column is a multicellular spot and each row corresponds to the genes detected in that spot, along with this position matrix, which tells us about the spatial positions of each multicellular spot within the tissue, to something more like this, which is the output from our reference-free deconvolution with SDDconvolve, where now we have a visual representation of each spot represented as a pie chart corresponding to the deconvolved cell type proportions uh, corresponding with each spot, along with the putative deconvolved uh, cell type specific gene expression profiles associated with every deconvolved cell type. And of course, this is just a preliminary run through. In a real analysis, I would like to spend a lot more time looking at the deconvolved uh, cell type specific spatial patterns and gene expression profiles to try to interpret the underlying results, um, as well as uh, discussing with collaborators to uh, interpret potential biological insights, and also iterate a few times to evaluate the stability of the deconvolved results with respect to different numbers of you know, underlying cell types, uh, different uh, corpuses of gene expression profiles used, So I'll leave it as an exercise to the student to replicate these results and perhaps even explore further. The code used in this video is linked below in our lab blog. So have fun learning bioinformatics and tinkering with code.